It's a bright day here in Kokomleme, Accra. I hope you're well. Welcome to Join News Interactive. I'm Benis Abu Beidou. On our plate today, Madam Intoso says that Ghana is not ready for a new president. Well, we'll hear what you have to say about that. And the NPP also says they are willing and they will declare the November polls, uh, the, the, the outcome of the November polls, and not even the IGP can stop them. I'd also be showing you uh, something really interesting and experienced by some two ladies out. Find out what you think about that and what your mindset on appropriate dressing is. I'll also show you our video of the day to lighten up your day. But here's how to get interactive with us. Find us on Facebook. Our name is Joy News on TV. And you can also send us a WhatsApp message on 0560-800-1000 or get onto WhatsApp, tweet at us at Joy News on TV, also on Instagram, we are at Joy News on TV. So with just about five months to the elections, the kitchen is getting hotter. Now, the latest is the NPP has hinted they will make a declaration of the winner of the presidential race this year. Not even the IGP can stop them. You know, and also when we're growing up in school, when you were writing the exam, you tried to hide your, your answer booklet from a friend because you wouldn't want them to copy you. Well, the NPP says that they, don't, they also will not... Uh, let us know the details of their manifesto because the NDC will copy it just like they did in the 2012 elections. But um, I've been speaking to some of you and uh, here's what you have to say about the issue. Let's hear what people on the streets are saying about it. Then we'll come on to Facebook and WhatsApp to pick your views also. The right institution to do that is the Electoral Commission. Uh, the powers to declare the winner of the general elections is rested in, um, in the hands of um, um, the Electoral Commission. Yeah, so it, it is not proper for an, uh, an, an MPP to do so. Now, I think that um, the best declaration comes from the public. I mean, the people who vote you into power are the best people to, um, to know the final results. And that will be from the electric, um, Electoral Commission. I don't think it should be so prudent for a party to come up with his own results. Yes, they can make their own analysis on how the voting went, but then to declare that that is my final results would definitely come from the EC. The what? No, but that's not possible. How can you declare the results on your own without the EC? It's the work of the EC, right? Yeah, so I think the EC got to do their work. It's impossible for them to declare the result on their own. It's not their work. Yeah, it's the, the electoral commission. I think it's very bad. As a Ghana, we need peace in Ghana. Because the surrounding countries, there is war. And Ghana here, if it's happening here, we don't know where to go. So please, we need peace in Ghana. No matter the political parties, anybody that we win, we have to appreciate them and help them to do what they have to do. We need peace. That's my only thing I have to say. We need peace in Ghana. <laughs> they want to declare their results on their own. So my first question to ask is, what does the law say in terms of election results being declared? Is it Whose job is it? I think it's the job of the EC. So the EC has been mandated or given that capacity by our laws, probably by parliament, to do so. So I think it would be prudent and safer, uh, you know, to calm the environment, I mean, to calm the people and, 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 and uh, 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 you know, during elections, uh, the, the, the atmosphere is, is in a different state altogether. So I think just to, 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 to make everybody safe, uh, it, it will be better to allow the EC to do their job. So well, that's what uh, people on, this, on the streets are saying about this particular issue. But I'm wondering why he had to make a statement like this, really. But well, let's make your comments on Facebook. Akba GH says, what a hashtag reckless statement and he says how can the MPP declare the winner of the elections he says this man is calling for mayhem and Armageddon and there's more to that he says uh, it would rather fall on you and he says your family and not innocent Ghanaians James Kweku Howard says only the EC has the legal power to declare the winner of elections in Ghana the way elections in Ghana are done 
It's possible to know who won long before the EC's declaration. What stops any person from saying an already known fact? Well, he's asking a question. Mensa Lakim Jacob says, The people of Ghana are listening to all such reckless statements by leaders of political parties. The IGP should rather use the media to arrest and prosecute persons who use it to cause mayhem. I think that will help. Fidelis Adarui says the MPP should be willing to declare that they have lost the election if it so happens. This party cannot think Ghana is for them alone. Dr. Rhymes Dixon says, what is the use of the EC then? Don't they have polling agents and other officials who monitor the whole process well enough? We love the peace we already enjoyed. Someone's quest for power must not destroy that peace. They should rather discuss the strategies to do proper monitoring of the election process well i must say that um a lot of you are not happy i mean per the comments that i'm receiving here on whatsapp and facebook are not happy with this statement but the truth is that the, these political parties can follow um as the results are declared and and try to uh, monitor it on their own but they, they do not have the power to declare someone as winners only the electoral commission that has the power and then this one says that i support the mpp's declaration of the tabulated results of this year's election. This is Omega from Offenso. But Omega, you'd agree that it's not their job to do that. Uh, they can't come out like they did in 2012 to contest the results, uh, if they so wish. But to declare someone as winner is the job of the EC. This one says whether the MPP declare their results of, or not, the NDC will not win as far as unpaid teachers are concerned and uh, this is from hack uh, you didn't tell us where you're sending this from but this one says i'm wondering why uh, when it's getting close to elections people want to create fear and panic i don't blame them it's our fault because we follow politics and this is mental ninsin prince he's from akemoda you're sending us this message from akemoda thank you so much and um, hakim in tamale says this is the most irresponsible comment made by mac ghana needs peace the igp must go for recklessness of such characters uh, thank you hakim in tamale for your comment this one says if the igp can block the radio stations and tv stations my phone sms my camera and my legs to walk to the radio or tv stations uh, then uh, what will be a worry but if not i don't see that uh, there's a big deal deal in blocking of social media okay uh, i'm not sure uh, pa Kujo, you're following the conversation today we have moved on from that from the igp's uh, contemplation of blocking social media on election day today we are talking about a statement made by peter mcmenu hinting that the mpp will declare the winner of this year's polls and even the igp cannot stop them and this one says with the statement the mpp has made it means they want to win by all means Ghanaians should know who to vote for and uh, this is from Mohammed in Dalmongo and he adds JM all the way and Aneli Isifu in Tamale says if this is true then the man behind this declaration should be called to order and not innocent people uh, like Charles Inchi uh, that's what he says and uh, well this is coming Okay, this is uh, this quite a, a thesis if you ask me. Please keep your messages short and concise and uh, I'll be glad to share them with the rest of the world. But let's move on. You know, I have a personal problem when people speak in highly generic terms like fair people are this or that or rich people are arrogant. Well, so here's why I'm talking about this. Because the Volta Regional Minister, Madame Intoso, says Ghana is not ready to try a new president as President John Dramani Mahama is working hard to ensure a better Ghana. She said Ghana is not ready to gamble. She says a lot is happening and President Mahama is doing so well and the country is not ready to try anyone. Now, since Ghana is not made up of only one person, one person cannot decide for Ghana. So, Ghana for, are you ready for a new president or not? So let's get on to Facebook because there's been a lot of interesting comments here. Halil Ahmed says, I'm not surprised because she wants to retain her position. In Ghana, the more you praise the president, the higher you are ranked. Elsewhere, it's about your capabilities. And uh, John Faze in Ketia says, Madam, maybe you are the PRO for the region. Um, 
that's why you are their minister. So let's say you said that on behalf of your people and not the whole Ghana. Why? Check the records of Rawlings. Yes, he was unseated by Ghanaians. Uh, check the records of Kufu. Yet he was also unseated by Ghanaians. Well, uh, uh, John, uh, for Rawlings, President Rawlings and President Kufu, they had exhausted their terms. So there was no way they could be president again. But, but it's fine. So he's telling Madame Intoso to please stop uh, the elementary politics. Ghana is not ready to try a new president. Who told you? And uh, he adds, you sit there and hallucinate. Like I said, Ghana is not made up of one person. So Ghana, for over to you. Are you ready for a new president or not? Well, Madame Intoso says Ghana is not ready for a new president because President Mahama is doing very well. And so Bawa Akusika says, politicians will never stop. The women amaze me the most with their uh, infantile politicking. And she sighs and says, one said MPP will send her to jail. Another is saying Ghana is not ready for change. Who made her the spokesperson for Ghanaians? Oh. Okay, Kafui and Angel says, Helen Intoso, uh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She should just uh, well, keep quiet because the Volta region will no longer be their World Bank, IMF or whatever. She and her incompetent Mahama have failed and we would see them packing. That's what uh, she says come November 7. Apia Minka says, so do you think Ghana is ready for your confused, incompetent, mismanaged? Well, quite a lot of harsh words there, but... Madame Intoso, I think you called this one yourself. But Young Will says, what do you expect? Listen to where she's coming from. She's the Volta Regional Minister, so she couldn't have said Ghana was ready. The inhabitants of Ghana will decide that, not her. So she should keep her mouth shut, period. Mahama Sani says, Madame, speak for yourself. No one appointed you as PRO for Ghana. So like I, I said, I have a big problem when, when people speak in generic terms. Ghana is not ready for a president. I'm not sure if she did her research. I'm not sure if she went onto the streets to find out from people. But she just said Ghana is not ready for a new president. Like other people say, oh, all fair ladies are like that, or all rich people are like that. Probably it's just a cultural thing we should look at. We like speaking in generic terms too much. But Kwekudia Van Mano says, uh, okay, Watre drink. Those of you who don't speak, it means that she spoke in her mind. But you know already Mahama is not winning the elections, and that's what he says. You've seen the vision, and so you want to speak against it. And he laughs at his own comment and says, fire burn all liars. This country is no good under this government. Michael Aaron in Tebwa says, Hmm, Asemo. <laughs> All these phrases are in Ghana. NDC de Asema Bagana. Okay. It says NDC has put a problem to Ghana. It says, look at this one. Johnny Yak says, this, year, this year's election will tell whether Ghana is ready or not. Malam Nain says, hello. He, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, that's an advertisement. Oh, I, how did I miss that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Richmond Atukwame Poli says, really? Mahama is doing well? And he's asking, in the current state of the country? It's still a question. And he's shaking his head at that. Moses Kwabnasab says, oh, well, okay. I'm sorry. But uh, <laughs> Kwame Abwaji Mensah says, but Ghana is ready for a clueless president? Sit there and joke why, honorable minister. Selassie so Kwame says, she's not ready to go into opposition, but trust me, you are on your way. So that's from Selassie Kwame to Madame Intoso. Dawood Idrisu Nashiru says, Ghanaians are not ready for more corruption in the coming years. Okay, so um, my colleague Jennifer Kwame, you know, it's quite an interesting subject. So she decided to find out from some of you what you make of this, and here's what she came by. <laughs> I think we need a change to because things are happening in Ghana here. Me, my problem, the way they are killing people in Ghana is very, very bad. Because our generation now coming, the new ones that are coming, they need to learn a lot from us. But killing, killing, killing like this, especially those movies that they've been showing on the television, is very, very bad. Me, my house like this, I don't like the children to watch those kind of things. But that is, is helping them to watch those things. It's helping them to apply it outside, you see. That shooting, shooting things is very, very bad. Ghana is ready to yeah, change presidents. President yeah, I think we are. We, we, we would like to have new, a new president. Looking at the economic conditions, it's not the best at all. And we would like to have a new, a new president. People are just, uh, look at tariffs, you look at water. Tariffs, that is um, water and electricity. The prices are too high, exorbitant. Yeah. We'd like to have a new president. Personally, I'm liberal on political matters. But then I believe that... Um, Changes for everyone, and 
Well, everybody has got a say in um, their vote, so people love change and some love consistency, so we wait to see what happens. Um, I'm not really much into politics, but what I feel and know is that if he's doing a good job, he should be kept, like, still be a president. But if they think there's, there needs to be a change, they should go on and change him. It's Ghana, and we are the people to vote him in. Well, I feel he needs to be, because he's doing a good job. But to others, I don't really know what they think. This one is doing a, a good job. So when he comes and he wants to uh, continue, he can continue. Perhaps someone who is there to change it. I think, uh, in a way, the majority seem to be advocating for a new president because um, obviously the president has a plan that he's working with uh, but I don't think majority of the people are seeing it that way because they want to see something reflect in their pockets they, they want to have life, their lives embedded uh, they want uh, life to be comfortable to them I think uh, our students are facing some few challenges uh, some haven't been posted to their place of work yet uh, the city isn't also doing so good as compared to um, when they took off from the, uh, the, 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 the preceding um, government. So um, looking at the way people are complaining and, and the, how the, the masses are responding to, to, to everyday life, it looks like uh, maybe a little over half of Ghanaians are ready for a new president but i think from the other side also the president based on his um, building uh, the infrastructure uh, uh, setup of the of, of, of the country i think and and, and uh, quite a number of people are also hoping that they can retain the the the, the, the current government That's why there's Joy News Interactive, so you can have your say on all the issues that matter. So are you ready for change or not? Well, Madam Intoso says Ghana is not ready for change, so President Mahama should remain president. But um, some of your comments here on WhatsApp, really interesting comments. Uh, this one says, Madam Intoso, pa, she should pray for a new person. Uh, and uh, she performed poorly herself. And this is from Francis in Pando, so I'm sure well, that's your regional minister, so you know what you're talking about. Hakim and Tamale says, we are not ready for a new president, though there are challenges at the moment. It doesn't mean it will be like this forever. The president is doing well. A new president might even worsen the situation. Hakim, you are repeating what Madame Mitosu did. You are speaking for all Ghanaians, but you can't do that. In matters like this, you just have to be very personal about it because someone may be ready for change. But well, thanks for your comments and... Um, Let's pick a few more here. This one says, that same Ghana is not ready to retain incompetent government. It's only people with short memories that would vote for this insensitive government. This is Mohammed Hafiz uh, from Boku. And uh, this one says, a class teacher who shows blatant incompetence on the job forces his students to read their textbooks on their own. Watch the EC, not Mark Menu. This is coming from God's Way Akpata. And he's sending us this from Accra Central. This one says, we are ready for any president capable of doing the job. But of course, we are not ready for anyone who wants us to try him or her as someone who is going about campaigning, okay, uh, with some Michel slogan. Mm. Uh, Baba in Winchi, I know who you're talking about. I'm sure a lot of you also know who he's talking about. But this one says, we are more ready than the word ready to sack this uh, government come November 7. And this is from Omega in Offenso. And a lot of your comments here. This is one from Abdul Rashid. It's been a while. And says, Ghana needs a change of government now because things are not moving right. And he adds that he's bored of the things happening in Ghana. Abdul Rashid, it will be well. And uh, this one uh, is from Anili Isifu in Tamale. And you are saying she's entitled to her opinion but we Ghanaians are desperate for good governance. We are not gambling, but the change is necessary. The suffering is unbearable and we cannot remain NDC robots. There's a lot more to talk about here on Joy News Interactive. Please stay with me. I'll be back shortly. 
Joy News Interactive. Thanks for staying on Joy News Interactive with me, Benis Abubedi. Now let's move away from uh, uh, Peter McMenu's comments and move away from Mrs. Ntos, uh, Madame, sorry, Ntos's comments. And let's move on. Now, if you had a meeting in Parliament, would you wear a dress like this or that? Well, even if you won't wear a dress like this, do you think these women should be denied access to Parliament because of the dresses they're wearing? Well, unfortunately for these two women, that's what happened. And they shared their story on Facebook and they had a meeting at Parliament. They got there and security will not permit them because of what they were wearing. According to them, it was not appropriate. So, <laughs> well, the comments here, interesting ones. Kwame E. Bidi says, anachronistic society pa and susan buckle under says you're all looking good so kj is wondering and saying really and joyce deborah says seriously what okay she's edited it herself maybe you were looking too good for parliament there's a lot of comments there but uh, quickly uh, again jennifer went out to find out from people what they think of this issue and here's what she came by as a Ghanaian lady, you need to dress up very well so that any person that will see you will see that yeah, you are really a woman in Ghana. That's our culture, so you need to dress as a woman. Lally, I don't really see what's wrong with um, what they wore because I believe that it is an outfit meant for, you know, um, an out and so whatever they wore, probably they might have their reasons because the other one sewn is quite short, the one with the material dressing. But then, nonetheless, I don't think it was reason enough because it doesn't reveal much. It doesn't reveal much of their external skins, but then probably they know best. I don't think that it's, it's indecent because it's a casual dress. And these days we, we, we go out with things that is casual because it's fashion. And even when you put the fashion aside, I don't see anything wrong with the dress they are wearing. It's cool. It's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's casual. All I can say is that it's casual. So I don't see the reason why they have to refuse them entering the parliament house. Their dress is not um, indecent, it's very decent. Perhaps the black one was very decent. I don't think fashion is needed in doing pol uh, politics, so I don't think it is necessary with their dressing. I think that what is needed from them is important, so the dressing doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't count in parliamentary. Yeah, I think it, it's not. It's not proper. It's not professional. It's not ethical. You, the dress they, they, are, they were wearing wasn't above, wasn't below knee level. Ideally, when you are going to such places, you need to wear attires that are below knee level. Well, this dress is not indecent. I don't see anything wrong with it. Besides, the one in the black has got some underpants. There's nothing more I can say. It's not indecent. I think. Our moral values are very important and uh, the way we go by our own life is also very important. So once we have um, where we are coming from as Ghanaians, we have, we have values that uh, are, are part of our life. So um, probably those are the reasons why Parliament didn't allow them to uh, get inside with this kind of dressing. For me, I don't see anything wrong with the dressing, yeah. There is nothing indecent about it. Hmm, interesting comments over there. But let me just pick a few on, on Facebook and we can move on. Malaka Grant says, look at you showing your knees to the world. Where is your sense of decency? And I, I, she's saying this with a bit of sarcasm because uh, the emoji there shows... Uh, uh, someone who is laughing and crying at the same time. So let me just pick a few of your comments. This one says, can anybody tell me the dress code uh, for Ghana besides who determines how people should dress in Ghana? That's Hakim in Tamale. This one says, well, if the meeting was an official one, I think the security did the right thing. And this is from Sami in Zebila. And uh, dress, dressing good is necessary, but I don't really see anything wrong with this particular dress in reference to the picture I showed you earlier. Abdul Rashid says, sure, if I were the security man, I would equally sack them because they are not visiting. There, guys, a lot of your comments coming in. I really appreciate it, but time is up. But before I go, take a look at the video of a day.
just to put this in context, this is what the teacher was trying to do. He was trying to let his students uh, feel what it is like to be drunk and walking at the same time. And unfortunately, he got a slap for that. But hey, that's how we end Join News Interactive for today. I'm really sorry I couldn't take all your comments. Uh, time is up. Uh, but don't forget, you can still get interactive with us on Facebook. Our name is Join News. On TV, my name is Benis Abu Bedu. Do take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Join News Interactive.